Hello everybody, welcome back. Tinker77 here. Today we're going to show off some indicators to tell whether your chests are empty, partially full, or full. So basically what this does is, this chest here, as you can see, has nothing in it. And the light is off. Hey, there's nothing in your chest. Now what happens here is if you put an item in, as soon as you put one item in, the light will be on, indicating that that chest has something in it. So you can have on and off, okay? What's really cool is that you can then know what's going on with your chests. Now, what do you want to do if you want your chest to be uh, completely full before the light turns on? Well, you have to do a slight modification of this system by uh, putting a block up and, a, and changing where the comparator is and putting a hopper. As you can see here, this chest is completely full. Okay, but as soon as there's a backlog of items in the hopper, the light turned on. Okay? It's a pretty simple uh, circuit, and you can see that it's tileable, and you can just scale this as big as you want and whatever you need. You can run hoppers down into each of your chests if you want to do that and then have a hopper line on top where you're doing a flow from uh, maybe some sort of sorting system or that sort of nature sort of thing. So let me show you how this is built. To start off, you're going to have four blocks for each chest that you're going to want an indicator for. Now, put a block here and here and put a, a repeater on each of those going to each of those blocks. Now what you want to do is put a redstone lamp and put three more blocks. Okay, on top of these two, you put your chest, you put your comparator behind that, and then you, what you do is you put a sticky piston facing downward right against the comparator and throw in a redstone block. And that's it. That's the basic circuit. Now you can just tile this out as far as you want, and then you are ready to go. Now right now, as you can see, there's nothing in the chest. If you put something in it, one single item, it activates and it shows you that the chest has something in it. Okay, so let me f fill this out a little bit more and then we'll show you how to do it to make it where it'll only indicate if the chest is completely full. Now we have five chests in a row and the way you do uh, chests like this, they're next to each other. You have to do a regular row of chests and then trap chest and alternate them. That's how you get them stacked close together. So anyway, you can see here it's off. The light is off. I put one in. It lights up. But how do you know when it's full? So let's say you want the light to only light up when the entire thing is full. Well, that's you change this out so that you take out the comparators, put a block in that place, okay? And then put a comparator on top. And then what you wanna do is you wanna have hoppers going down into your chests, okay? Now, what that means is, as an example, the light is off, and if you recall, if I put a block in, it would normally light up, but you can see it doesn't. So now let's fill this chest up completely. Now, it doesn't light up right away, so, but why? Well, obviously because I don't have the item in there. But let's say we're putting something else in. As soon as it gets backlog and the hopper can't put anything in, the hopper has an has a item in it and it causes the comparator to light up. So that's kind of like the way it's really got a full chest plus one more in it. Now, this is great when you use, um, if you have sorting systems or that sort of thing, you run a hopper line across the top and that way it will feed into the hopper. So that's how you do this. That's all there is to it. Thank you for joining me today. I am Tinker77. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of any other videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.